हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंग्लिश ग्रामर क्लास आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई शुल स्टार्ट विद यूनिट टेन दैट इज काउंटेबल एंड अनकाउंटेबल नाउंस सी दिस इज अ वेरी इजी चैप्टर फॉर यू पीपल बिकॉज यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट काउंटेबल एंड अनकाउंटेबल नाउंस इन योर प्रीवियस क्लासेस यू ऑलरेडी नो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ काउंटेबल एंड अनकाउंटेबल so let me just revise that what are countable nouns and what are uncountable nouns so this is basically a revision class for you so let's come to countable nouns the nouns that can be counted from the word only you can get countable count able that means you can count so the nouns that can be counted refers to countable nouns and the second one uncountable from the word only you can say uncountable means that cannot be counted so the nouns that cannot be counted comes under uncountable nouns now let me give you the example of countable nouns if i say book book is countable pen pen is countable you can count pen laptop can you count laptop of course you can count laptop is countable cell phone cell phone is countable tv TV is countable. Pencil, pencil is countable. So whatever you can count refers to countable nouns. Second one, uncountable. Now let me give you the examples of uncountable nouns. Salt. Can you count salt? No, it's not possible. Can you count one? Means it's not possible to count salt. Similarly, sugar. Can you count sugar? No, not possible. Hair. Can you count your hair? Is it possible to count? No, it is not possible. So hair is also uncountable. Now water. Can you count water? One water, two water, three water? No, you cannot. So water is uncountable. But if I say one glass of water or one bottle of water, then that can be counted. so only water is uncountable and glass of water or a bottle of water that is countable similarly jam jam is uncountable you cannot count jam one jam two jam three jam but if i say a bottle of jam two bottles of jam five bottles of jam then the bottles can be counted similarly gold can you count gold one gold two gold i am wearing ring so many rings i am wearing so can you count gold how much gold is there in each ring no you cannot count but if i say a gold ring two gold rings three gold rings then that can be counted because you can count ring but you cannot count gold so i hope the concept of countable and uncountable nouns are clear to everybody now one more point so that you can differentiate and under, understand between uh, uh, differentiate between countable and uncountable see we cannot make plural of uncountable noun for example sugar sugars do we say sugars no we say sugar only salt do we say salts no we do not say hair hairs no that is wrong so we cannot make plural of uncountable nouns we can only make plural of countable nouns for example chair chair can be counted it is countable chairs tables pens erasers pencils mobile phones right laptops so count so plural can be made of countable but plural cannot be made of uncountable nouns so i hope the concept of countable and uncountable nouns are clear to everybody now students let's come to the exercises write c for countable nouns and u for uncountable nouns so you have to write c for countable and u for uncountable so the very easy exercise now let me take my pen so let's start salt salt is countable or uncountable it is uncountable you cannot count salt so you will write u oh, one second ha huh. flower can you count flower of course you can count flower one flower two flowers one flower two flowers three flowers so it is countable tooth can you count it one two three four definitely you can count it so this is countable 
sugar sugar is countable or not no it's not you cannot count sugar and you cannot make plural of sugar sugars we don't say sugars we say we say sugar so this is uncountable fifth apples definitely you can count apples so count apples will be countable sixth jam i gave you the example of jam also jam is uncountable you cannot count jam one jam two jam three jam you can count bottle of jam so jam will be uncountable seventh water similarly the same example you cannot count water but you can count bottle of water so water will be uncountable <coughs> sorry eighth bottle of jam just now i told about it so bottle of jam will be countable now page now what is the difference between page and paper see this is a book this book contains how many pages it contains 112 pages so pages can be counted one page two page three page four page so pages countable because you can count page but if i say about paper this is a paper right this part is also paper this part is also paper this part is also paper but you cannot count paper you can count page but you cannot count paper so paper will be uncountable next gold i gave you the example of gold and gold ring so we have this question also gold will be uncountable and golden ring this will be countable because you can count ring right 13th chair chair is countable rice rice is not countable we don't say rice is we only say rice it is uncountable wood wood is again uncountable you cannot count wood you can count trees but you cannot count wood wood is uncountable cake yes you can count cake one cake two cake three cake so cake is countable honey same honey you cannot count but you can count bottle of honey so honey will be uncountable penguin can you count penguins of course one penguin two penguins three penguins penguin is countable money money and rupees we have do we say monies no and i told you that we cannot form plural of uncountable we can say rupees but we don't say monies we say money money is uncountable and the last question rupees 10 rupees 20 rupees 500 rupees 1000 rupees that can be counted so the last one will be countable so i hope that question number 1 is clear to everybody now let's move to question number 2 see i just told that we cannot make plural of uncountable nouns we don't say sugars waters we don't and we don't use a or a or an with uncountable nouns we don't say an oil a rice yes next let's move to question number second fill in the blanks with suitable uncountable nouns see there are 15 uh, fill ups given and you have to write the appropriate word from the word bank hint is also given So let's start with question number one. Please give me a glass of dash. I'm thirsty. So please give me water. Water is there. One minute. My pen. Please give me water. What? One second. Let me write it properly. See, W is already there, so you have to write A T E R. A T E R water. Next second, I gave the beggar some food dash to eat, some food to eat. Food is also there in the word bank. So F double O D. Next, cows give us dash. Cows give us milk. M I L K. We make dash dash and dash from the milk. So we make cream. C R E A M. cream curd and butter we make cream curd and butter from the milk fifth we buy dash from the petrol pump 
What do we buy from the petrol pump? We buy petrol. P is already there. P E T R O L. Petrol. Sixth. She used so much dash to fry the bread rolls. She used so much oil to fry the bread roll bread rolls. Seventh. Sheep give us dash. So sheep give us wool. Say eighth. There is a little dash in the ink pot. So there is a little ink. I N K. Ninth. Look at these blades of green dash. Look at these blades of green grass. G R A W S. Tenth. We bought a kilo of dash for making biryani. So we bought a kilo of rice. Rice is used to make biryani. I hope till question number tenth, all the fill-ups are clear. Now let's move to question number eleven. Add pinch of dash to the soup. So add pinch of salt to the soup. S A L T. Twelfth, we need dash to make furniture. What is needed to make furniture? Wood is needed to make furniture, and wood is also there. Next, dash, dash, and dash, 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 and bricks are the raw materials for making a house. So, what do we need in order to make a house? Cement we need. We have cement. Then we need sand, and we have iron. So, we need cement. sand and iron to make raw materials for making a house 14th give him a cake of dash for washing hands what is needed in order to wash hands what is needed soap is needed so soap 15th save dash to save trees save paper to save trees because we get paper from trees so i hope that this chapter is clear to everybody so i expect all of you to please go through this video and complete your work thank you so much students we'll meet in the next class with the next chapter thank you